Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about your Slack account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you update your status in Slack? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to update your status in Slack anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business and you're marked as active in Slack, you know that sometimes your coworkers or assistants get upset at you because they think that you're active on Slack, but really you're away for lunch. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Slack account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my Slack account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to update your status in Slack to let your coworkers know what's going on with you, all you're going to do is right down here on the bottom left, click on this little person icon. Mine's in orange. Once you do that, you're going to see this little pop-up and in order to change the status, they have this quick feature so you can mark yourself as active or away. But if you want to notify something a little bit more in depth, you can click right here in this box called update your status. Okay. So the cool thing about Slack is they have these quick custom statuses. So if you're on vacationing, you can click this. If you're working remotely, if you're out sick for the day, if you're commuting or if you're in a meeting, you can click all of those. Now, if you have something a little bit more specific, you can go ahead and click right here on the top for your status and then just type in what your status is. So me, I'll just type eating lasagna for two hours. Okay. So as you can see, you can type in whatever status that you want and how long do you want the status to occur on your profile? So you can have it for the rest of the day, or you can click right here and you can go ahead and have it expire after 30 minutes. If I'm going to be eating for 30 minutes, or if you want, you can choose a date and time. So let's say I'm going to be eating lasagna for two hours, but actually I'm going to be eating lasagna for the next month. So I can go ahead and change that for a month in advance. And then you can even set the time that it expires. Also during this time, you can go ahead and pause notifications from your Slack if you don't want to receive messages. So if you're on vacation or something like that. Now, if you're not sure how long you're going to be eating lasagna for, you can go ahead and delete that. And then you can click right here, choose date and time. And then we're not going to be clear. So we're just going to say we're eating lasagna and that's just going to continue until we remove that status. So once you've updated your status on Slack, go ahead and click on the save button. And then here at the bottom, you can see on my profile, if you hover over it, this is what they're going to see. So they're going to say Anthony and it says I'm eating lasagna. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to update your status on Slack, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.